Now that you can create a basic label, let's try binding a data source to an object. This allows you to create a label, attach a database to it, and then let WASP Labeler plus 2D pull information from the database when printing. For example, if you're creating employee badges, you can create a template badge and then bind a database containing all the employee names, departments, and ID numbers to the objects on your label. When printing, WASP Labeler will pull the information from the database and place it in the associated barcode or text box on the badge. Now I've already created my employee badge, so all I need to do is add a data source to this project. I'll go to the Data tab, and here you can see the various data source options. I'll select the type of database I want to add. For this example, I want to add an Excel file that contains a list of the employee names, IDs, and departments. So I'll click on Excel, click Browse to select my file, and then click Apply. And here you can see all of the columns that are on my spreadsheet that are now connected to my project. I'll go back to the Design tab and select the object I want to bind data to. So I'll start with my barcode first. I want to bind the employee ID column in the data source. So with the barcode selected, I'll go to the Content tab and click Database. And a window appears displaying all the available columns from this data source. I'll select the appropriate column from the drop-down list and click Done. Next, I'll select a text box and bind that to the employee department. Now since the Excel spreadsheet I bound to this project also has a column with the employee departments, that option appears here. I'll just select it and I'm good. And that's all there is to adding a data source and binding an object to it. If you would like personalized help with WASP Labeler plus 2D, private training is available for purchase. Go to wasp.barcode.com to learn more.